Day 176 of 3D modeling and printing every day for 365 days straight. Yesterday I 3D printed a three hole punch that can easily store in your binder, but the punches didn't knock out the paper all the way, so I figured I'd make the puncher detachable and try everyone's comments from yesterday. I started off with one that was taller than the original, and the results were more or less the same. So then I went with a diagonally cut cylinder, and this one worked well but still left a tab on the side. Now I tried a U shaped profile, which a lot of you guys thought might work, and the results were similar to the diagonally cut, but not terrible. B notch shape was up next, and this was actually the best so far. Still tabs left, but more than the other versions. Now it was for the inverted cone with the cone in the center, and this one cleanly took two holes, so we were moving in the right direction. It did mess up a lot though, and was pretty inconsistent, so then I took a closer look. And what I saw was that one side was coming in sooner than the other, which made the paper shear on one side and then got pinned on the other. So in this final version, I matched the cylinder's profile with the path that it would take. That way when it got to the other side, the faces would be flat to each other and the paper would get sheared equally from all sides. Now it's time to test if it would actually work in practice. And with a final pop, yes it worked. And I did test it a few more times after and each time it did work the same. So I think we cracked the code. Now I've got a fully working, fully 3D printed, 3-hole punch. Stick around for day 177.